Hey, you guys. So we're back today to talk about the other half of the digestive system. In the last lecture, we totally went through gross anatomy of the digestive system. We looked at the tube. We named all the parts of the tube. We named the things that dump stuff into the tube. And today, we're going to go microscopic, and we're going to look at the layers of the tube and the histology of the tube. So the histology is actually significant. Like, what do you know? Structure determines function. And the structure of the tissues that are used to build the tube in various places in your body determine the function of that part of the tube. So there's lots of really cool uh, hints about where you are when you are looking at the histology of the digestive tubing. And there's also some really cool similarities between all parts of the tube. So I'm going to start us out by drawing a picture of a generalized tube for you. And I want you to remember that we are looking at a tube, but I'm going to draw a flat version of this thing first just so you can see the layers that we're going to be looking at. And then we'll correlate the, the layers to this image from the OpenStax textbook. Okay, so um, first of all, it's a tube, doggies. So what do we know is present in our tube? This thing right here, we know we have a lumen right? So I'm going to put the lumen at the top of this little page here. And um, hmm. I know there's settings that I can fix on this thing that will let it do what I want it to do. Okay. What are you going to expect? We've talked about this before. We've talked about different kinds of membranes. What kind of membrane is found lining the digestive tube. We know that it's a mucous membrane, right? And a mucous membrane is made up of a layer of epithelial tissue. And I'll go ahead and just make my epithelial tissue um, black, outlined in black. And you can guess what kind of epithelium it is. The different parts of the tube, the kind of epithelium you're going to find will um, often tell you where you are, can tell you where you are. Um, I'm going to make a structure next that looks a little something, something like that. What is that structure, y'all? Shout it out loud and proud. That would be the basement membrane. Yeah. So you know that the epithelial tissue is connected to connective tissue deep to the basement membrane, or um, deep is the wrong word when we're talking about tubes, basal to the basement membrane. And I'm going to make my um, next layer, connective tissue, this color. This is a layer of loose connective tissue or a realer connective tissue. And it has a name, and you already know this name, my friends. Yes, this is the lamina propria. And you know that epithelial tissue bound to connective tissue via a basement membrane lining an external space is often a mucous membrane. The mucous membrane in this digestive tubing is actually attached to another layer, a really thin layer, a smooth layer that is um, called muscularis mucosi. Muscularis mucosi uh, is smooth. What do you think it's made out of? What kind of tissue do you think it's made out of? It is made out of 
um, smooth muscle. Lamina propria was made out of loose connective tissue or areolar connective tissue. And epithelial tissue is made out of epithelial tissue. Most epithelial layers in the digestive tubing are actually simple columnar epithelium. This whole thing, ha, is one layer. This whole thing is the mucosa. So that's the first layer of my digestive tubing. That's the luminal layer of my digestive tubing. Now, there is another layer of, I'm going to make it a little bit lighter. There's another big old layer, big, depends on where you are. Sometimes it's big. Another layer of what am I drawing? Connective tissue madness. And this layer is called the submucosa. It's made out of either a real or connective tissue or dense regular connective tissue. But it's definitely connective tissue. And it's definitely basal to muscularis mucosae. Basal to submucosa is another, what am I drawing? I actually can't remember if this layer comes next or if this layer comes next. What kind of tissue am I drawing? I'm giving you a hint. I've already drawn it once. I've drawn this kind of tissue once. I haven't drawn this layer yet. This layer is usually two layers, same kind of tissue, and it's called muscularis, hint, hint, externa. Muscularis externa usually is two layers, and usually it is made out of smooth muscle also, usually. So I think I've sort of, um, Oh, we've got more. Look, I'm going to do this last layer, kind of vague. And the last layer is either the adventitia or the serosa. And it depends on where you are, whether you are going to be an adventitia or a serosa. Now, look, this whole thing is your digestive tubing. Now I'm going to la la I'm going to layer it, I mean label it, on this tubular diagram for you. So check it out. We've got our lumen. You can see that lining the lumen is epithelial tissue. So this edge is epithelium. What was basal to the epithelium? That would be lamina propria. And you can totally see that, right? That looks like a connective tissue, like who knows what. And then basal to that was muscularis mucosae, right? And that's made out of smooth muscle most of the time. Next up, we have a layer basal to muscularis mucosae. This whole thing, remember, made up the mucosa. So the next layer in line is the submucosa, right? That thing looks like a little connective tissue, fun times, whatever. Then it looks like we've got two layers here, this one and this one, of smooth muscle and that's muscularis externa. And then we actually have the, um, I, can, I think this one is serosa, but it could be adventitia. And it's actually, I'm going to give you a little tiny hint. It's 
simple squamous epithelium with a tiny thin layer of a real or connective tissue. Do you know what that is if it's serosa? That's actually the, a serous membrane. So that will be an easy way to remember that. Um, I also want to draw your attention to this little, look, here's my serosa, and it makes a little sandwich with veins and nerves inside of it. This is actually a mesentery. I just don't want you to forget all the things that you did last time, and as long as you are remembering that, we'll be good to go. Okay, so here's your generalized tube. Every tube you look at is going to have layers. And as long as you don't freak out, don't freak out. As long as you don't freak out, you can identify those layers, and it's not that hard. Just look in, stay far away, and look for those layers. And don't freak out. Histo, it's fun. Okay, I'll be right back and we'll talk about some specific things that, some specific ways that this tube can be arranged to increase the surface area in various places in the tube.